Hi, and welcome to your long, deep breathing meditation video. This is going to be an amazing practice for you to begin to integrate into your daily life. Now, you may not be that familiar with pranayama, which is the technique of breathing, but it is an ancient yogic technology that serves us in such an amazing way. It helps us to tap into our intuition by calming our nervous system down. It helps to stimulate our brain and allows us to manage stress better. We're able to drop in to ourselves into our deepest, deepest lung capacity so that we're also able to manage stress and manage difficult situations in a much more seamless and much more less or less reactive way. So there's so many millions of benefits to doing breathing technique and it's becoming more and more popular everywhere you're going because there are there's so much research behind it that really proves um, the positive effects that it has on your body it also helps to clear out your blood uh, detoxifies your blood helps to clear out um, toxins in your lungs because we're expanding the lungs uh, increases your vitality really connects to your sense of self and connectedness and your uh, just groundedness into to your life into uh, to your relationships so as you can see, there's so many benefits and I can go on and on about it. Um, but let's get into the breathing. And I am personally so passionate about it because it has helped me so much. It has helped me to overcome anxiety. It helps me to really connect to myself and to my heart space. It connects me to who I really am instead of being in reaction mode all day long. Um, instead of being into this like, you know, fight or flight, we're able to sit with ourselves, to really be one with ourselves. So I am so truly grateful for this type of technology and this type of technique of breathing into ourselves and really dropping into who our most authentic self is. So join me in this long, deep breathing meditation. You're going to love it. Uh, we're going to do it for five minutes. And um, yeah, so just go ahead and come into a seated position and we'll get started. Come into a seated position, and if this crisscross position is uncomfortable for you, then elevate yourself with a blanket, a bolster, or even a block. You can even place blocks underneath your knees like this to elevate the knees and to take that pressure off of the knees and the hips. You can also do this meditation in a seat, like in a chair. Just make sure you're not leaning back. Your back should be upright, nice and tall. You could also do this laying down on your back. So I suggest you try it a few different ways, see what works for you. I personally like to do it seated because when I'm lying down, I tend to really fall asleep. <laughs> so um, I like to do it uh, sitting up like this. So just make it comfortable and make it work for you. So in the long, deep breathing, it's a really great introductory pranayama to do because um, it's really simple and it helps to draw awareness through our, our entire body. Lots of times we walk around uh, really disconnected from our bodies. You know, when you knock into things, um, if you spill something, you hit something, uh, you know, you know that you're completely disconnected from your body, right? Your mind is going one way and your body is literally on the other side doing something else, knocking things over. I have definitely been there. I can be super clumsy sometimes. People always say, how are you a dancer and so clumsy? <laughs> it's because sometimes my brain, I'm just not present and that's all it is. Um, so if you're someone like that, then this will definitely help you to connect to all parts of your body. So with the long deep breathing, we're going to think of three spots. There's the lower belly. There is the middle part where your ribs are, kind of like around your bra line. And then there's the chest and the clavicle and the shoulders and this whole area. So when you inhale, you want to think of inhaling deeply and completely all the way down to the deepest part of your belly. Then you're going to think, and this is all on the inhale, then you're going to think of filling up air in the ribs portion. And I want you to think of yourself as a three-dimensional object. I know lots of times we only think of here because that's what we see. But I want you to think about the ribs and the back, filling up this entire space. Think of this as a sphere and you want to fill up all the space in the back and in the front of you, the sides of you, the corners of you. So think about it as that three-dimensional object. Then you're going to think about 
inhaling and adding breath up into the chest area, the clavicle, really opening this up, really just bursting your heart wide open. It may feel a little vulnerable to you and you may even, a lot of emotions may come up and that's totally normal because lots of times uh, we lock and we, um, we, we kind of stick emotions into our bodies and they get stuck in our bodies. So when you do this type of breathing, we're releasing, we're opening and you may feel a lot of things come up and let it come up. Just let it come up, uh, you know, look at it and just be compassionate towards yourself without any judgments. I definitely have done that before where things come up and I judge myself for them. Like, why am I still in pain about this? Why am I crying about this again? I should have been moved on, you know, kind of harsh and critical of myself. And I have to remove that sense of criticism out of my mind and really just let myself sit with it and hold space for myself and let it come up, let yourself move through it. Maybe you're going to cry and just open yourself and know that everything is going to be okay. And once you're able to move it and release it out of your body, you can move forward. You'll feel lighter. You'll feel happier. Uh, like you just kind of let go of that baggage. Um, so and that was a little sidetrack. So that's for the inhale. So for the exhale, you're just going to reverse that. So it was belly, middle, and then upper chest. And then when you exhale, just think of it going in the reverse. Think of it releasing from the chest, releasing from the, the middle part, the abdomen, and then the lower belly. All right. So let's take a few practice rounds. Let's have the palms facing up. Let's have the fingers in Gyana Mudra, which just means that the first finger and thumb are connected here like this, completing the circle of energy back towards yourself. Palms are facing up as a, as a signal of being open and receiving and receptive to whatever may come. And you're sitting up tall. So you want to practice good posture, being super aware. Again, this is the, the yoga is the practice of awareness and connection and unity. So sit up nice and tall. <laughs> try to there's a bunch of kids around yelling just accept the surroundings accept your surround that's a lot of the meditation none of us are going to be in a silent vacuum area you know so you just let the sounds around you kind of come and go so sit up nice and tall close the eyes and I want you to bring your focus and awareness and attention to your third eye point the gateway of your intuition so you're going to close your eyes the eyes are going to roll up and in, in between the brows. Focusing there to your third eye point. Connecting deeply with your inner self and your inner wisdom, the truth of who you really are. Focus there for a few moments, breathing in and out through the nose. Maybe this is your first time looking into your third eye. And it can be confronting sometimes. So whatever comes up, let it come up and let it go. Soften the shoulders. Breathing deeply and completely in and out through the nose. So let's begin our long, deep breathing. Let's take, let's try it twice together. So you're going to take a nice big inhale in deeply and completely, thinking of the breath going all the way down to the belly, the base of your body. And then let the air fill up the middle of the ribs, the back ribs. And then bring the air into the chest and the clavicle and the heart. Let the heart open up towards the sky. Suspend the breath for just a moment. Dropping the chin down slightly if it lifted. And then release the air from the chest and the clavicle. Then from the middle of the body. And then exhale it completely out. Let's start again. Inhaling deeply and completely all the way down to your lowest belly. Let the air fill up, creating new vitality. Then opening up the abdominal wall, the, the part of the thoracic spine. And then the chest and heart, opening the heart up towards the sky. And then exhale, slowly releasing first from the chest and the heart, dropping the shoulders down if they lifted at all. Then the middle of the chest, Then the bottom of the base of the body. And 
Good, and then just take simple breaths in and out. So that's, a, that's just two rounds of long, deep breathing. The breaths are very long. Maybe you've never done this before. And if anything, anxiety comes up, just know that you're going to be okay. Your next normal breath is just right around the corner. Okay, so I'm gonna put my timer on and we're gonna do this together. Right. Sit up tall, close the eyes. Again, if you open them, bring the eyes to the third eye point, rolling them up and in, really tapping into your truth, your most authentic self. And looking at yourself with deep compassion and love. Drop the shoulders down. And I want you to think about elongating the back of the spine. So from the base of the tailbone all the way up towards the crown of the head. Drop the chin slightly down towards the chest to stretch out the back of the neck. And let's begin. Inhale deeply into the lowest part of the belly. Expanding, releasing all those core muscles. And filling up the middle of the body, expanding the front, sides, and back of us. Then the clavicle, open up the heart, let yourself be seen and heard, expand wide, and reverse that, exhaling through the chest, then through the middle part of the body, and then all the way down, we will let it go. Continue at your own pace. I'll be here with you, holding space, breathing alongside. Breathing deeply and completely. Expanding your body, mind, spirit. Integrating all parts of you. And then inhale all the way in. Suspend the breath for a few moments here. Maybe you can sip in just a little bit more air. Draw the shoulders down. Relax the neck down. Relax the chin down towards the chest just a bit. Lengthen the spine. And then exhale all of it out. Release. Let that go. Take a few simple deep breaths here, in and out through the nose. Bring the palms to the heart center to seal in this breath meditation that we did together. Bow your head down towards your heart as a symbol of gratitude and compassion for you and your thoughts and all parts of you. My wish for you is for you to totally accept and love all aspects of your life, your mind, your body, your soul, 
and to really feel grateful and drop into the beauty of who you really are. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for this breath meditation. Know that this is available for you to use at any time of your life. You could do this in your car. You could do this before a meeting. You could do this in the bathroom. If you have something stressful that's happening, know that this is a tool and technology that you have for you and yourself to empower yourself to shift, to change, to be the best version of yourself all the time. So thank you so much for joining me. Leave your comments below. I can't wait to hear your experience about this. I am Jacqueline from actionjacqueline.com. Love you guys so much. See you next time.